Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better me. Uh, the bigger the tree, the more wood. And I feel that way about this situation. I feel that way about these guys. Everything you want's on the other side of hard. And I've not expected anything to be easy when I came in here. I'm, I'm not glad it's like this, but I knew at some point we'd get to this point. Once you get past the fanfare of the summer and all that stuff, then you get into the season, and then you get punched in the mouth a few times, and then you get to what's real. And that, to me, allows for you to grow and determine what you need to do to go f <laughs> Y'all see the record. The last 42 games, really the last 40 games, the Detroit Pistons are 4 and 36. It's 2023 trade deadline. And the sad thing about Detroit Pistons is they have so much young talent, but get it, they could just never put it together. It seems like this team is cursed. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the sad truth about the Detroit Pistons. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Owen, back and give with another video. Now, before we get into this video, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Be thankful for all your friends and family out there for making sacrifices and everything. I want to say, y'all live it up, eat, and gain like 10 pounds a day. I think I am going to gain 10 pounds a day. Uh, that's why I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to, you, to your friends and family out there. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. Right. Now, let's get to the video. Unfortunately, it looks like the Detroit Pistons have a lot of players to be thankful for, but no wins to be thankful for. Listen, the thing with Detroit, Detroit Pistons is there's really no way, other way out of this, sadly. They have so much young talent. Kay Cunningham is balling. Forget record, forget them not winning. He's been balling. I'm gonna make a video about the most surprising players in the NBA in the next video. Y'all, if y'all can get this video to at least 10 likes, I'll drop that video next. But, anyways, Cade's been balling. Jaden Ivey's been improving every year, every game. He's been improving. Y'all know how what how I love this rookie of Short Thompson. And a lot of players, especially Draymond Green, love. They, they love it. They rave about this dude. Marvin Bagley is on and off, but he's still trying to find his way really on this, this rotation in this team. Isaiah Stewart is solid. Then we got James Wiseman, who's really just trying to find his way in the NBA at this point, coming off the bench. And same thing with Killian Hayes, who just has not lifted up to his potential. He's a solid player. He just has a little bit of his potential. Turns the ball over a lot. This is what I'm going to say. I, I'm watching the highlights. I'm watching a little bit of the games with Detroit Pistons. Y'all problem is not on offense. It's a couple things on offense y'all can prove. But y'all problem is not really on offense. Defense. Y'all look lost. Y'all rotation defense is horrible. Every time an opponent makes a pick, Y'all look that the other player looks lost. Y'all don't know how to rotate. Is it either y'all go this way and the player's already shooting the ball, or y'all go that way towards the towards the goal and he's wide open in in the paint? The rotation defensively needs to be better. Now Monty Williams, you gotta make some improvements on that. And Monty Williams is a really good coach. This is the thing about the Detroit Pistons. It don't matter what kind of coach y'all have, it don't matter how many, what kind of players y'all have, it's just something about the, this organization is y'all just can't win. I don't know y'all can ever get back to the bad boy Pistons days. You know, now it's just first of all, let's be alright. Let's be real. Y'all y'all can't attract anybody. Who wants to go to Detroit? Who I'm gonna say that one more time. Who wants to be in Detroit? One of the worst series in America. Nobody wants to be in Detroit. Okay. Second of all, there's no attraction. There's, the fans are not really coming to see y'all. And if they are, it's like for a disappointment. They know what's going to happen. They know what the outcome is going to be. A loss, unfortunately. Third of all, y'all have all this talent. 
a lot of talent on y'all. I mean, so much young talent. Y'all just can never put it together. Don't matter what coach y'all have. It doesn't. Look at the OKC Thunder right now. They, they have won probably the youngest team in the NBA other than the Pistons. They're second in the West. Look at the o Orlando Magic. With Paulo, Franz Wagner, Mar Maritz Wagner. They're, what, 9 and 5? 10 and 5. Detroit. I don't know what, what's, what's the end goal here. Y'all have to figure something out. Because it really doesn't matter what y'all have. Y'all got to prove defensively. Y'all got to prove an attraction-wise. Y'all got to somehow find a way to get like a start. But somehow find a way to get Zach Levine because he's been on the market. I know he's not going to be wanting to go to Detroit. But I believe he's from, I, I don't know, but... Somehow make y'all make y'all way in there. If not, keep this young talent, pro, progress them to the highest level, improve defensively. Because I see I see the rotation defensively. Y'all are lost. Y'all look lost defensively. Y'all will give up any kind of points because it would be one player switching off of another player and they are already open in the paint. Another player switching off a player and they open from three. Y'all got to communicate better defensively. Now, offensively, I like the offense, but I don't like Isaiah Stewart staying out of the three-point line. Like, I feel, I feel like Isaiah Stewart is a bang and crash. Marvin Backley needs to be a little more outside. Now, I'm liking what I see Marvin Backley taking more to the rim, but if you want more spacing, I think Isaiah Stewart needs to be in the paint more. Just banging on people. Pause. No homo. He needs to be in the paint more. And then y'all can switch between each other. Maybe Isaiah Stewart take a three or two, but I don't like him outside the paint. That doesn't look right. K is doing his thing. K, K is balling, like I said. Jaden Ivey needs to be getting to a rim a little more. Instead of taking more threes, he needs to get to rim a little more and get to the free throw line. And I'm sure Thompson, just keep doing your thing, bro. You just hooping. You hooping. It's just, I don't, I don't know, man. It, it, it's, it's sad. I, y'all might be cursed because I, I feel for y'all, Detroit Pistons fans, man. I, I, I don't even blame y'all if y'all dislike this video because I'm just speaking the truth, y'all. I'm speaking the truth. Y'all can be, y'all probably be at a lottery again. But does you what how many how many times do y'all want to be in the lottery and y'all can have all the picks y'all want to, all the first round picks, probably number one pick, and it's still gonna be the same result? What's the point then? What's the point of all of this? Trust the process. There's no process here. Four and thirty six last four games? And y'all have that much time on your team? Pistons, gotta do better. Gotta find some kind of way to really get this team to the next level. And it's not just Monty Williams. It's really the organization. That's all I can say for this video. If y'all enjoyed the video, give me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give me to 400 subscribers. I appreciate y'all for all the support. And it's been your boy, Will, and I'm out.